welcome. My name is Kathleen McGowan. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'll be continuing our discussion on weight loss, body type, and working either with your body or instead against it. In my previous video, in Introduction to Body Type, I discussed some of the questions that you may have in regards to your weight that can be answered once you understand what your body type is and how to work with it. If you haven't yet seen that video, please click over to it and quickly watch it first because in doing so, this video will be of greater understanding and, and help to you. So, I'll begin here by saying that understanding your body type allows you to finally put the pieces together and work with your body. And it's actually relatively simple to determine your body type in most cases by answering the following questions. So question number one is which body type category, which category best describes your body? A body type one, I like to go over that first, but please understand that the physical description of a body type one differs slightly between the female and male, as you'll learn from the following two physical descriptions. The body type one female physical features are that from the front view of this body type, they have a relatively balanced build. They're slender and usually fine boned when not obese, yet their thighs tend to be a bit heavier and they have tapering legs. And this body type has delicate looking hands, feet, and head, and their waist is distinct even in spite of fat. Now, from the profile, this body type has a, a pronounced, what I call a, a perky or upper sitting type of buttocks, round shoulders, and any fat in the stomach area is below the navel and any cellulite will be in the buttocks and or the front and the back of the thighs to the knees. Now a body type 1 male physical features are from the front view of the body they'll have long limbs and the fat accumulation will be in the upper arms and in the thigh and if they have fat in the stomach area it will be in an arranged roll type look and their profile view will be one of a straight back with a slight buttocks and they'll have a delicate looking neck. Now if out of balance this body type, both females and males will be drawn to sweets and starch products such as sweets and pasta and potatoes and breads as well as caffeinated foods and beverages including coffee and teas and especially chocolate. Now prevalent to this body type are situations including but not limited to allergies and skin conditions and mood swings and PMS, hypoglycemia and ulcers, insomnia, headaches. Uh, depression, candidas, cold hands and feet, and normally lower blood pressure. Now let's move on to a body type 2 and again please know that the physical description of a body type 2 differs slightly between the female and male. So a body type 2 from the front view of this body, their body type has a difference in size between their upper body and lower body. The upper portion of their body being smaller than the lower body and if overweight they'll what sometimes what some body type twos may describe about themselves as having saddlebags on the on the outer thighs. From the profile, this body type will have a larger buttocks with a defined waist and usually a flat stomach, and they have somewhat of a sway back line on their back. And females carry excess weight in the upper thighs and hips or the females may have smaller upper body with a waist compared to the hips. Now a male may have larger hip to thigh to shoulder ratio or males may instead have flat buttocks and a flat stomach and the cellulite will be in the rear and the upper thighs. Now if out of balance this body type will be drawn to well seasoned foods that are rich and spiced and also fried foods, examples being uh, Mexican or Chinese, creamy desserts, vegetables with cream sauce, pizza and fries and creamy dips, these type of foods. And prevalent to this body type are situations including but not limited to aching feet, arthritis, bladder infections, gallbladder stress, respiratory syndromes, hormonal imbalances, skin conditions such as psoriasis, uh, urinary problems, kidney stones, right shoulder pain, breast lumps, um, hay fever, and, and like eczema. Now body type 3, here again the physical description of a body type 3 differs slightly between the female and the male as you'll see when I go over the following physical descriptions. So from the front view of a body type 3, 
they'll have a strong, very strong, sturdy line of body with the upper portion of the body being dominant looking over the lower portion of the body. And just about no matter how overweight this body type gets, they tend to have great looking legs. Women will normally have larger breasts and men broad chest with thicker waist. And from the profile, this body type has a straight back with a flat buttocks. And if overweight, a pot belly, and they tend to have thick arms and legs all the way down. Now, both the females and males uh, carry the excess weight in their upper torso and even in the back. And if they're out of balance, this body type will be drawn to protein, especially meat and salt products such as steak and bacon and, and butter and cheese and peanuts and salami and pickles and garlic and eggs. And uh, prevalent to this body type are situations including but not limited to high blood pressure, stiff joints, bloating, even after only drinking water, constipation, insomnia, a tendency towards an addiction, particularly alcohol, back problems, atherosclerosis, osteoporosis, some kidney disorders, and they give in to stress. So a lot of times this body type will have an explosive personality. And now I'll describe a body type 4. Once again, the physical description of a body type 4 differs slightly between the female and the male. From the front view of the body, this body type has a childlike look and appearance of baby fat. Uh, women will normally have smaller breasts, and males will have sloping shoulders and possibly even a concave chest. Now this body type has a relatively larger head in comparison to the body size. And from the profile, this body type has rounded shoulders, a smaller buttocks, a little bit pudgy area on the knees, and generally less developed muscles. This body type will be young looking for their age due to the soft look of the body. And it's also possible for this body type to have had a wiry type body when a teen, and that they were slower to mature and they pretty much have the same body shape when mature as they did during their teen years. Now, slender females have small breasts and hips, slender males have boyish bodies, and boy, both the females and males, uh, they gain excess weight all over and appear to have a softer type of look to them. If out of balance, this body type will be drawn to soft foods, such as uh, dairy products like milk and cottage cheese and ice cream and whipped cream and cream sauces and yogurt and cookies and cereal and prevalent to this body type are situations including but not limited to aching knees and chronic allergies and milk intolerance, Crohn's disease, colitis, skin irritations, um, nausea, gas after eating and diverticulosis. Now it's important to understand that it is possible to have similarities with two of these four body types, one being your primary and the other being your secondary body type, stemming from your natural birth mother and father. It's also important to understand that no one body type is any better or any worse than another. There simply are four unique body types with four unique metabolisms. As you'll find, you'll fit perfectly into one of these body types or a combination of between two of them, one being your primary and the other being your secondary body type. And once you've determined your body type, an entire new world will open up to you in reference to working with your body instead of against it in, in lifelong weight management and regaining and or maintaining your health and longevity and in understanding how to assist yourself naturally with anti-aging. To learn more about your body type and how to work with it instead of against your body, please revisit my future blogs often at bouldersoflife.com since I'll continue sharing more about weight loss and working with your body instead of against it. And as always, in peace, grace, and gratitude. <music>